hey guys welcome back to yet another amazing video and in this video i'm gonna be telling you guys how you can boost your fps fix lags stutter and fps drops in the altars dropped recently i hope this guide helps you out because we are gonna be covering all of the best pc settings as well as game settings to optimize your performance so without wasting any more time let's get started right with the video Alright, first things first is the best window settings and for that simply search for settings on your PC. Once you're in settings, head over to personalization and then colors and right over here disable transparency effects. This will help you to disable all kind of unnecessary translucent effects on your windows. After that head over to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. Since it is an overlay service, disabling that will help you to optimize your performance drastically. Head over to gaming back again and then click on game mode and turn this thing on. This will help you to optimize your PC by turning things, applications and unwanted notifications off in the background allowing you to improve FPS. After that, click on the graphic settings over here and then enable optimizations for windowed games as well as hardware access to GPU scheduling under the advanced graphic settings. Both of them will help you to reduce your input latency drastically as well as utilize your graphic card primarily to render the game. Then click on add desktop app button over here and then go to the download location of your game. Once you find your game, double click to open it up and then click on the altars, binaries, Win64 and then select the win64shipping.exe. Click on the add button over here to ensure that this is added and then scroll down to find it. Once you locate the game, click on that and then for the GPU preference, select high performance over here and ensure that this is your native graphic card. This will ensure that you are not using your integrated graphic card to render this game. Then click on optimizations for windowed game, then enable optimizations for windowed games and once that is done, simply close this. Next step is compatibility settings and for that simply search for Steam on your PC, right click on your game, click on manage and then click on browse local files. Double click on the alters, binaries, win64 and right over here you'll find the alters win64shipping.exe. Right click on that and head over to its properties. Click on compatibility and then click on disable full screen optimizations. Then click on change high dpi settings and enable this option over here. Click on ok and then apply. Once that is done simply close it and then close this. This will help you to get rid of input latency. Well before moving ahead I would like to introduce you all to GVG mall. A store which fulfills all your digital needs for games and gift cards in one place. GVG mall has a wide variety of digital keys for games and in-game currency for multiple vendors which is legit, reliable and convenient. On the website you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Origin as well as PC game gift cards and genuine Windows activation key. I however liked how convenient it is to get a genuine Windows key since I do not like the activate Windows watermark on my screen and to fix it I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally you can get Windows 10 for 5378 but on this sale you can get it for 2175 and if you use my code FOX25 you can get additional 25% off at just 1631. And you also have Windows 11 update for free. And it is perfect time to get rid of that Windows activation mark. There are multiple payment methods which are convenient and once you buy it, you will get an email within minutes and using that code, you can activate your Windows in no time. So go check out GVG Mall, links are in the description below. Next step is disabling background applications and for that you need to open up local group policy editor. Search for edit group policy and if you guys are not on Windows 11 Pro, this option might not be available for you. Once you are here, double click on computer configuration, administrator templates, windows components, app privacy and right over here you'll find let windows apps run in the background. Right click on it and then click on edit. Ensure that the policy is set to enabled and then default for all applications should be set to force deny. This will enable this policy and set this thing to force deny. This will ensure that the policy is enabled and the background applications are set to force deny to ensure that you are running as less applications as you can in the background. This will help you to boost your performance and improve your FPS drastically. Next step is disk defrag fragmentation and optimization and for that simply search for defrag and optimize drives over here select your local disk c and then if it is a solid state drive simply click on optimize and this will start trimming the ssd and doing this will help you to optimize your disk drive by cleaning up the unused partitions and if it is a hard disk drive you have to click on analyze and then click on optimize and this will start fragmenting your hard disk drive to do the same both of them will help you to optimize the performance of your disk 
and it is really essential for this game. Once that is done, simply close it. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC and right over here select local disk C. Then click on create and name it the alters. This will help you to create a backup of your PC in case anything goes wrong you can always revert it back to normal without any kind of data loss. Once that is done simply click on close and close system properties. Next step is the alters FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. You guys will find in 5 simple folders over here. The first one is CPU priority in which I have left AMD CPU priority as well as Intel CPU priority. If you guys have an Intel CPU like me, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. And if you guys have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. Both of them will help you to optimize the performance of your processor by setting up the correct DWORD values on your PC. Next is RAM optimization which does the same thing but for your RAM. I have left a ton of presets which holds the accurate DWORD value to optimize the performance of your RAM and utilize the maximum amount of it. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this registry. Could be different for you so you can apply it according to your PC right away. Once again, if that doesn't work out well, you can always reset it back to default using this registry right over here. Third one is the alters priority for which I would recommend you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to apply right over here. Next is disable unnecessary services in which I have left all of these services which are absolutely useless in disabling them will help you to drastically boost the FPS on your PC. Once again, if you use any Bluetooth or printer services, leave these two services and other than that disable every single one of them which you guys can see and again if any of them causes any kind of issues and you want to revert them back head over to the revert registries folder and re-enable them back again last is the programs folder in which i have left three very useful programs the first one is clean temporary files dot bat you wanna have to right click on it as administrator this will open up a command prompt on which you have to press enter and this will delete all temporary files right off your PC and I would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then. Clearing your prefetch and your temp folders will help you to keep your PC optimized. Next is MSI Mode Utility 3.0. Simply right clicking on it as administrator. This software will help you to increase the interrupt priority of your graphic card. Simply locate your graphic card in this list and then click on the MSI button next to it. For the interrupt priority, select high and this will allow your graphic card to handle higher interrupts without any kind of overclocks. Once that is done, click on the apply button on the top right section and then close it. Next is Unpack CPU which is actually a very useful tool. You wanna have to right click and run it as administrator. This tool helps you to disable core parking on your PC and this is just a system that helps you to save power. Disabling core parking will help you to optimize the performance of your CPU by preventing the cores to go into sleep mode. Simply slide this core parking index all the way up to 100% and for the system plan select ultimate performance or high performance in this list. Once that is done click on the apply button and then simply close it and then close the FPS back. Next step is the best in game settings and for that simply open up your game. Okay once you're in your game press your escape key and then head over to settings. Right over here you have to come down to graphics and then make sure that your screen mode is set to windowed full screen. Display should be your native display and your native display resolution. VSync should be turned off and maximum frame rate should be set to unlimited. Graphics quality go with custom and motion blur should be turned off. Then for resolution upscaling, if you guys have an NVIDIA graphics card, go with NVIDIA DLSS. If you guys have an AMD graphic card, go with FSR3. And if you guys have an Intel graphic card, go with Intel Zest. I will go with NVIDIA DLSS, super resolution, go with balanced or quality, both of them works absolutely fine. NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency, go with on plus boost and frame generation should be turned on if you guys have that. Then for post processing quality, go with low, shadow quality low, reflection quality low, texture quality high and effects quality medium, ambient occlusion low and model quality high. Once that is done, press your spacebar to save these settings and then you guys can press escape key and then go back into the game with the best FPS possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. We are really close to 250,000 subscribers and I trust you all because subscription is free. You guys can hit the subscribe button and help me grow this channel. We'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.